from the gloom of Earth's deepest caverns. Bring me a cup of working magic. Obey! of the water come at my call obey my voice bring me sweetest essence of blood distilled from ether fill this cup with melting passion all pervading
Spirits of the fire, spirits of fire, spirits of fire, come at my call. <laughs> was born, wise men came to me saying, he wins a bride with a glance of his eye, with a look he kills a fool, he achieves where others fail, with one Lies, my son, a half wit. 
to fight battles. He achieves where others fail with one word. But he never speaks. Not a word to his mother, not a word of help, of kindliness, of love. Waken, waken, and keep awake. him sleep. But here's another sleeper. He seems old, ugly, rich. For there is no man here. And now I remember that I haven't drunk the potion. What potion? In taste and color, it is pure as water. If a woman a drink, it is but water. If a man drink, his eye is all powerful. The first woman he looks at is filled with love longing. She forgets the world and lives but for him. When first he looks at a man, flames of fire rise from the ground and burn him. Please, don't begin it again. Be calm. As I said before, you are only a woman. And I've not drunk the potion. I shall not do so until I see the princess. What princess? She who rules this land and people, she who rules our hearts. Today she comes to choose a worthy husband. She is so fair that every man who sees her is caught in the magic of her view. There is an 
ancient prophecy that runs. She shall marry the man who does the deed no other can do. She shall marry the man who does the deed no other can do. He wins a bride with a glance of his eye. With a look he kills a foe. He achieves where others fail. With one word. Oh, oh, sir, forgive me. I don't know what I'm saying. But I know. You are a woman of sense and your words are true. They refer to me. Yes, of course. They refer to you. To me! I'll fulfill the prophecy. I shall win the bride. I'll achieve where others fail with one word. Or even without a word. Will I pipe work to spell at my poor loans and goblins from the deepest bowels of earth in a brought beyond the car. Then the water spirits filled it with a magic draught of love. Then came the salamanders pouring in flames of fire at my word. And sometimes without a word, she shall marry the man who does the deed no other can do. It is I, she was born for me, I wait for her. And the rest of your words are true. When I have drunk the potion, I shall gaze into the eyes of the princess. She will forget the rest of the world and sink down at my feet in ecstasy. But perhaps her courtiers will not like me. I am not young and gay as they are. With a look, he kills a foe. How true! For if anyone dare to cross my path, I merely gaze on him thus. Then around him spring up devils born of fire, roaring flames surround him, inch by inch his body scorches, this is bear it any longer. It's too bad of you. As I said before, you are perfectly safe because you are not a man. <laughs> but it was wrong of me to frighten you. It is long since I last spoke to a woman. I need practice in politeness. He's not burnt yet. And I will obtain it. I will rehearse my wooing song. Come here, good woman, you shall aid me. We will pretend you are the princess. Smile gently, look gracious. Oh, Better than that. So. That looks quite well. Queen of this land and all our hearts. Oh, queen of loveliness. To all who look upon thy face, look in his love. This is we worse cannot than help adoring thee, fairest of womankind. Thy look is going mad. Every eye burns it with a rapture. Now, listen attentively. I'm coming to the important part. Until this day, thou hast not found 
One worthy of thy love. So now rejoice, for he is here. He stands before thee. Be not surprised at what I say. I am the appointed one. But, 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 but why are you so stiff? That's the great point of the song, and you missed it. We must go back and do it properly. Let me see. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. So now rejoice, for he is here. He stands before thee. Now then, be not surprised at what I say. I am the appointed one. If thou hast beauty, I have power. Wisdom and knowledge. Now in my heart thy beauty burns. Thy glance bewitches me. Thou art indeed my heart's desire. I too love's lady. Come, my awaits me. Come to my arms. Come, come. You're the worst actress I've no feeling, no imagination, no sense of style. It's all over. It might be wise to drink just a little of the potion. She would listen to me then. He hasn't seen him after all. One can always use a second wife. Come here, woman. Come where I can clearly see your face. You have sense and you are wise. Have you beauty? Are you fit to be my wife? A man like me with a wife like that? No, it wouldn't be proper. Brute! But you are wise. You know my power. Obey me and I will reward you. I am weary. Watch while I rest and wake me when the princess comes.
Give me some water. Such is the man whose place I am 
Drunken frame, for I will renew my youth, my strength, my duty. land and all our hearts, O oh, Queen of loveliness, among all those that love thee, I only am worthy. I who with lusty joy am filled, I who am young again. But you're not. <clears throat> Do you not feel the power of love burn soul and body? Certainly not. Don't be impertinent, sir. Now you are feeling flames of ecstasy surging within. All I feel, sir, is that the joke is getting a little old. Like you. Nate is false, tis vain to hide. I know your inmost thoughts, I read your heart. Gentlemen, please protect me. Thanks, lady. No, I can show my power. Gaze on me, you fools, and I will burn you. Inch by inch, the flame shall wrap you round. Demons, devils, jinns, and sadamandus shall spring from the deepest bowels of earth. Really, gentlemen, it would be cruel not to oblige him, so pray And last 
Princess Lady, I bring you a tale of terror, a tale of horror, of death, of the ending of all things. But my tale will end your peace. It is a tale of war. The enemy comes. This is no earthly power. It is the power of hell. But you must hear me. I am a shepherd. Until an hour ago, I was lying on the hillside guarding my flocks. Yet not guarding. Why should I guard when there was no danger? My sheep knew my voice and would not stray. There was no wild beast near, no robber. There was nothing evil. So. Like yonder poor lady, I lay down and dreamed I was at peace. My dog awoke me. He gave a short bark, then sniffed the air and barked again. I bade him be still, and once more I lay down to sleep. But he barked again, and this time it was a cry of anger. I looked up, and on the crest of the hill above, there was a wolf. He rushed towards us, but before I could rise, he had passed. He never looked round at my flocks, but flew like the wind and was lost to us. Then a wild bull appeared. He also rushed by in terror, and as he passed, I saw that his head was scorched and his eyes burnt out. He stumbled in his blindness, rose. And fell again. I climbed the hill and looked beyond. In the valley below, wild beasts and tame herds and flocks were mingled in one mad rush towards me. Behind them, men and women were flying, dragging carts and barrows with them, and staggering under heavy burdens. I looked further, and all the crests of the distant hills were fire. A forest fire. I said to myself, and gazed in wonder, for I had only heard men tell of such things. Then, as I gazed, I cursed my folly. There are no forests; nothing but grass grows on those hills. Higher grew the flames, and brighter, making the sun look pale. And within the wall of fire, I saw weird figures moving. Demons and jinns were dancing. Indeed, they seemed to bring the flames nearer. All is lost. Our land is doomed. Hell is here.
the glance of his eye. With a look, he has killed a fool. Where is the fire? Where are the demons? Who is dead? Who have escaped? Where is the fire? The wizard is burned. Where are the demons? There lies his hat. Who is dead? But he was Who their leader, was so why did they burn him?
for he is the only man who has ever looked on your face and not loved you. Give us a chance.